Well, Wait, show me what happened. What happened? Hmm? What? What happened? Jesus. Well, earlier this morning, so. <laughs> That's a real bruise right there. You, that oh. happened at the beginning of the day? Yeah. That's awful. What did you do? It's so red. It looks like you're a gladiator. Is that I didn't your think job? it was going to be that bad. Are you a gladiator, son? Uh, I'm something. You're a hard <laughs> worker. He's, a, he's, he's a an hard electrician. <laughs> yeah, I was pulling some cable through like a bunch of 90 degree angles, so there was a bunch of tension on it. And I always sit over my shoulder and was just pulling as hard as I could and it just wasn't coming through this 190 degree. Oh. And they were like, the guys were like, what are you doing? And they're like, pull. And I'm like, I'm pulling. <laughs> I'm pulling as hard as I can. You, should, you needed to bleed. Yeah, yeah. I was going to lose my shoulder before yeah. they were happy. Somebody yeah. else needs to come pull. Somebody that makes a lot more money yeah. wow. needs to come pull. <laughs> right? I just, um, I just did a video about... Your hand. Give me your hand. Remember the thing we did? The hand thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, your hand's a lot bigger now. Yeah, you can't wrap your hand around mine. Isn't it? Yeah. So here. Here's the hand thing. You were you were seven years old. That was a long well, that's time. not that different. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> that's a lot different. Isn't it? That's how it was? Uh, yeah, as old. just like that. Yeah. So how many oh, years ago cool. was that? More than twice as long. It was 15 Jeez. years ago. <laughs> yeah. A little bit bigger. Just a little. Still my handsome boy. Sweet. My precious son. <laughs> your mama is making your favorite dish. Mm, thank you. Mama. Blue fried rice. Yeah. Cauliflower, fried up some cauliflower. Some good old coconut oil. Coconut mm -hmm. oil. So good for you. Yeah, we buy five gallons at a time. It's the we? new olive oil. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's way better than olive oil. Yep. So don't do please don't injure yourself on the job. I'm not. Yeah. That was just a stationary. Be careful. <laughs> Electrical work is so dangerous. I have an electrician that works for me and he told me. He said, a couple of friends of mine went under a house. They went under yeah. the house walking a crawl space. And they were just ducking down and crawling in the dirt. You know, you, you can't even you can't even straighten up at all. You have to be on your hands. I, I know. And he said. They, I have to crawl around. Army he crawl. said, one of them, the, the guy that was in the front, grazed. His back was touching the, the floor joist. And his back grazed a wire. And the wire was rat chewed. Well, it was too. 120 volt and it was an appliance. and it was to an appliance and then yeah. and the dryer it was and the dryer was turned on and he locked up he took all that yeah, ever since you told me that story i've been making I told you sure that. making sure that yeah. the wire is not bare or anything yeah like the, uh, the houses and, and, and he touched it and he locked up and because the because the dryer was turned on at the time and his partner went to free him up and pull him away from it they both died they both locked That's up on that wire so that that's this, when you need like a, a non-conductive like stick or something to pull somebody away yeah yeah that's yeah. why i've been making sure when we're doing like hot work when the the electricians are doing hot work i've yeah. got a, like a broom or something yeah broom handle. well you know that hopefully that's that, that'll work i guess that's the only that's the last line of defense right yeah i mean you don't want to go grab them just be part careful. of the chain be yeah. careful i mean i would rather you do extreme sports sometimes that. and risk your life Doing stuff like that, unless you're extremely careful. Mm -hmm. Snowboarding. Well, it's snowboarding. Oh, well. Ah, I was a kid once. <laughs> I'm gonna love snowboarding till the day I die. Yeah. Don't don't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like doing it though. So you think you're gonna be an old man and still out there wanting to do it? Yeah. I'll be on the bunny slopes so this will be fun. <laughs> you will not. Do you remember my blind skier story? Mm -hmm. No. Blind skier. So, <laughs> Mom that. and I were at, were we at Mammoth Mountain in California? Mm, I think we were in uh, up north in California. Uh, no, I think we were in Montana. Montana? Big sky. Big sky? Yeah. <laughs> I was, we were skiing some moguls and uh, I didn't know about, I didn't know that blind people ski. Until this day. That's pretty awesome, right? I don't believe yeah. it. And, and I was imagining being blind today. That's funny. <laughs> so I'm down I'm down on the halfway through this one one course of moguls 
and I'm resting, and Farm Girl is down, Farm Girl, your mom, is down below me, and this, and then I, and then I see the, I look uphill, and I see this guy weaving his way down, you know, in my general direction, right, and then the guy behind him was weaving his way down, and the guy behind him had on, for some reason he has a, has a red cross on his chest, remember that? Yep. He had a big red cross. I was like, oh, I wonder if he's from Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy that was ahead of him, he kept coming right towards me. And you're like, oh, he's going to turn. And, he's and I was like, wow, he, he wants to say hi or something. And then right when he got really way too close for comfort, the guy behind him yelled, blind skier, blind skier. <laughs> Bam, he runs right into me and knocked me on the ass. A little was, late. A second sooner. <laughs> the guy was completely blind. And that was it was a really awesome experience. Because because neither of us got hurt. And then I was like, okay, well that opened my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> he was like apologizing to me and I said, dude, you're blind and you're skiing? That was, wow. That's so awesome. That's what he needed. Yeah. Yeah. That guy should have been in front of him, you know, yeah. Yeah, like clicking or something, making yeah. sure that he was... But he was a little late on the blind skier thing. Yeah. He was like, wow, he's not really going to hit that dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, hello, there's somebody right in front of you. <laughs> we use our words. <laughs> Don't need to use an indoor voice for this. 